Welcome back. Well, imagine riding a bicycle all the way from San Diego, California to Washington, D.C. That's thousands of miles through deserts and mountains. But a group of college students are taking that challenge for a greater good. Ride for World Health is a nonprofit organization aiming to spread awareness about major health issues. And they do so by traveling across the country on their bicycles. Last year, they stopped in Portales and had a chance to enjoy some Greyhound baseball action. And today, they're back in town. Jeff Schaefer is here with us in the newsroom to talk to us. Thank you for being here, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Well, can you tell us more about uh, Ride for World Health and your journey across the country? Well, sure. We're a group of uh, mostly medical students from The Ohio State University who are riding across the country about 3,200 miles over the course of 52 days to raise money for and awareness for uh, three global health charities, Empower in Advance, Heal Africa, and Podemos. Oh, that's awesome. I'm actually a really big Buckeyes fan. Uh, <laughs> can, you Excellent. Tell, can you tell me uh, what are your focuses are uh, in your presentation? Sure. Well, what we hope to accomplish with our presentations is just to raise awareness for of different global health issues. Um, each of the Ohio State medical students prepared a, a talk on a different global health topic, and uh, they raise in uh, they a wide variety of topics from uh, nutrition to different surgical topics. And really, it's uh, just we try to gear the presentations for the audiences that we have. That's, that's really cool. Uh, but I'm sure this takes a lot physically out of you. Uh, how many miles do you ride every day? That's a good question. Yeah, we, it does uh, take a lot out of you physically. We ride about, on average, 80 miles per day. Um, but every fourth day, we're on crew duty, so we make lunch and set up the route for all the other riders. So we ride for three days, and then we're on crew day. And then uh, every so often when we're in a big city, we'll have a day off. Uh, we had a day off when we were in Phoenix, and we'll have another day off when we're in Oklahoma City in a few days. Well, that's awesome. Um, 80 miles a day, that's, that's a lot. Uh, I'm sure it takes a lot to actually <laughs> prepare for this trip. Uh, what kind of physical preparation do you have to do? So there, there's really no great way to prepare for uh, an adventure like this. Uh, uh, I think everybody had a different regimen that they did. Uh, I only biked really one or two days a week for the past few months. And then I tried to do other things like run and play basketball and also swimming. Uh, but some people rode on their uh, bike trainers. Uh, it wasn't easy this winter to bike in uh, Ohio. We had quite a, quite a few feet of snow, but uh, we hooked up indoor uh, stationary bikes, so people were able to do that. Oh, I bet. Um, so have you enjoyed riding through New Mexico? Oh, I have. It's been quite beautiful ever since we came in. Our first city was uh, Zuni, New Mexico. We, cl we came across the border, and ever since then we've been... Uh, quite impressed with the mountains and the desert that you all have here. It's been excellent. That's awesome. That's definitely a really good cause and a, a lot of bicycling. And thank you so much for uh, joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. And we here at News 3 New Mexico also wish you luck uh, and have a safe trip and good luck on your mission. And don't go anywhere yet because we'll tell you what the weekend weather will bring, so stay tuned.